Hello folks, a few days back I got hold of a Raspberry Pi 3 and I just wanted to set it up but I never wanted to connect it through an HDMI with a monitor or a LED. What I wanted to do was I just wanted to use my laptop to remotely connect with the Pi. But for some reason it was not that easy, it took me a lot of time to Google and Google but I could not come to a solution. Eventually I found one so I thought to share it with everyone. In this tutorial I will be explaining how to connect your Raspberry Pi 3 to your Wi-Fi and then connecting it with your laptop through PuTTY. It's quite a simple thing. I'm not going to go into the details of how to set it up. It's very easy. Just go to the raspberrypi.org and set it up with the Raspbian operating system. Everything is self-explanatory there. It's very detailed and very simple. So I'll assume here that you have set up your micro SD. So we'll open it up and we'll go to the boot partition. And we'll create a new file here. And we'll name it WPA. So, okay, if your extensions are not visible, you can go in view and you can check this file name extensions. We'll open it up. Okay, now here you'll have to give it the information so it knows that it has to connect with your Wi-Fi. Here you will give the SSID of your Wi-Fi. This is your password key and then you'll tell it key management I'm using WPA2 That's all. So we close it, we save it. Okay, now here we'll rename it WPS or supplicant.conf. Give a pop up. Are you sure? Yep, we are sure. Okay, now by default, Raspberry Pi 3 has SSH disabled. So we'll create a new file. This is the technique and how to enable it. You will create a new file SSH and we'll re remove the extension and we'll. Alright, now I'll take out the SD card and I'll put it in my Raspberry Pi and then I'll show further. Alright. I place the SD card in the Raspberry. Now, you should log in to your router page and you can see that it will appear in your connected devices. So, if I can see here, it's visible here. And this is the IP address. So, now we'll open Buddy. Now here you can give it the host name as well, it's Raspberry Pi or you can type in the IP address Okay, this is the security warning, it comes for the first time whenever you connect because the host key file is not cached in the registry and it's just telling you if we are sure and yeah we are sure so the default username is Pi, the default password is Raspberry, so here we go, we are in.
It was very simple, but it took me a lot of time. I tried to connect it with the Ethernet, but for some reason I could not get it up. So next I'll be installing VNC on this, and then I'll have a display here on my laptop. But I think I'll do that in another video. This one is fine. I hope it helped. Take care. Thanks.